everybody, welcome to the $5 and under makeup challenge. I was tagged by Tati, also known as Glam Life Guru here on YouTube, and I am so excited. I didn't even know that she knew who I am, who I was. So I had a major fangirl moment when I saw my name in the description box. Thank you so much, Tati. I am really excited and I hope I know I can do this. And I apologize right now. I am filming in less than perfect conditions if you can hear what's going on in the background. Um, we, for those of you who are new to my channel or don't know what's going on, we picked up a new puppy just two days ago, a Weimaraner puppy uh, named Rowdy, and he is living up to that name. He is playing tug of war with one of our other dogs in the background. He's nine weeks old and there's just not a lot you can do as far as keeping a nine week old puppy quiet. I will list everything in the description box and the prices right next to it for those of you who want to know exactly how much everything costs. First up is foundation and I'm using the Rimmel Match, Found Match Perfection Foundation in the shade Ivory and I have used this before actually. So I'm gonna put this on with one of my favorite foundation brushes that I forgot to clean. This is from Wet n Wild. It is, a, it is from my collection and as you can see it is well used. I'm just gonna hopefully get exactly what I need on the back of my hand and nothing more. I'm just gonna dot this all over my face. This is the only Wet n Wild brush that I've actually used, but I really like it. It's really soft. I use it all the time. Whether it's a dollar or fifty dollars, I actually really like it. On to concealer. So for under eyes, I have an old favorite that I repurchased a new fresh tube. This is the Rimmel Match Perfection that actually goes with the foundation. And we just do that underneath each eye. I would normally, if I had my full options, I would be starting off with a salmon colored corrector, but I don't have that option. So, oh, you know what? I actually bought a brush for this. I got a, a pointed foundation brush from e.l.f., which works great, as I think is a concealer brush. So we're gonna use that. Now, this has really good coverage as far as the foundation goes, but I have a couple blemishes from testing a new skincare product. Um, so I did pick up two concealers from Wet n Wild. I wasn't entirely sure which shade. Again, um, problem with a lot of drugstore makeup is not every drugstore has testers. This looks like it's a little too light. I'd rather have it a little too dark. When you're uh, concealing blemishes, the last thing you wanna do is highlight them. So I'd rather do it a little too dark and then lighten it up with powder. I don't know what shade this is. I've ripped off the packaging. Oh well. I think this will work. I think that's all I really need to deal with today. I'm gonna use my finger. Just because a product is $5 or less, doesn't mean it's going to be bad. As you're gonna see, I am gonna bring out some products that I reach for every day. Just They just happen to be less than $5. Okay, I'm gonna actually go for one of those things right now. Again, from Wet n Wild, no stranger to any of you who watch me regularly. This is the Wet n Wild um, eyeshadow primer. I love it. I prefer this over any other eyeshadow primer I have ever used. A little goes a long way. I'm just gonna pop that on. Oh, you know what, did I get this? Yes, I did, okay. If you're wondering what I'm looking at, I have a mirror sitting down in front of me. There you go. Now let's powder everything. So I have a couple of things to use to powder. So for my face, as you can see, I have used this quite a bit. This is again from Rimmel. It's the, uh, what is this? Stay Matte. I've used it so much that the name is worn off. It's the Stay Matte Powder. And I have just an e.l.f. Total Face Brush. It's very floppy. And floppy yet stiff at the same time. It's a strange combination. And I'm gonna lightly do that pretty much all over the face, but not under my eyes because I have a different product I wanna try under my eyes. So for that, 
I'm going to use, I have a couple of options, they're both from Wet n Wild. One option, which I have used under my eyes before, is technically a bronzer from Wet n Wild, and it's in the shade Reserve Your Cabana. I've used this many, many a time to set my under eye concealer. And then the other option is also from Wet n Wild, and it's their Mega Glow Contouring Palette, and I, of course, would use this side. I'm gonna try something different. So I'm gonna try the contouring palette. I'm gonna use the highlighter shade. It's very chalky. That might not be a good idea, but we're gonna try, whoa. Okay, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> if you're worried about fine lines, which of course I am, maybe that was not the best choice, but oh well. I don't know why I just closed that because I am now going to use the contour shade to contour. Hmm. This was tricky. There were not a, a lot of options. In fact, there were no options that I would have normally grabbed to do contour. If I could have done $6, I could have gotten um, a contour brush. But $5 and under, I am actually going to use a Wet n Wild shadow brush. I'll just wipe it off later. And I'm gonna do this trick. It's not a trick, but what I do, tuck your chin down. And when you suck your cheek, your lips in, you can see the line that your cheekbones form and that's where you paint on the contour. See that line? But you don't want to go all the way down to the corner of your lips. You know, stop it right about where your eye starts. So right about like that. It's a little stronger than I would like. This isn't the ideal brush. But the reason I do this before contour or before bronzer is because then when you put your bronzer on, you could um, possibly blend it out. Okay, I'm gonna use the fluffier brush that I used for the under eye, and I'm gonna do the chin. I could have used this to do my cheeks. I just wasn't sure how that, if it was gonna to be too thick. So without adding any more product, I'm just gonna go over and blend that out a little bit. Back to my dear Wet n Wild. I mean, as far as budget products go, you really can't beat Wet n Wild. And then if you're just talking just good products, period, Wet n Wild really just nails it. So back to Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer, but this time in the shade, Ticket to Brazil. So I'm just going back over and being really uh, imprecise. Just kind of slapping that all over. Now for highlighting, which is always my favorite part ever. And I just saw this in the, I don't know how I have not had this before. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. Again, not a lot of really great options for highlighter brushes in the $5 and under range, but I'm gonna take this same brush, I'm rubbing it on a paper towel, I'm gonna keep it to the lighter side of the palette because I am on the lighter side of the palette myself. And we're just gonna go on the cheekbones. I can see a highlight, but I want more. I'm gonna take that same brush I used for contour and I'm gonna go onto the lightest side here and, oh yes, much better. I like it. Okay, not bad. Let's get some blush on. Love this blush. This is a new shade to me, but not new to me, the line anyway. It's the Essence Silky, Tuck, Silky Touch Blush, and it's the shade Adorable. Maybe I have used this. And I'm gonna try this blush brush. This is from e.l.f., but it's their studio line. And I'm just gonna swirl this and kind of connect my bronzer, contour, and highlight, kind of smoosh that all together. I feel like that gives me sort of that lit from within glow when you put the blush on top of the highlighter a little bit. Okay, I did find an eyebrow pencil under $5. I found a few, but this one actually is something I would use. And that was really my goal is, yes, I could find makeup that was under $5, but I really wanted to find makeup that I would actually want to use more than just for this video, stuff that I would recommend. So this is from Milani, and it's the Easy Brow. It has a spoolie at one end, 
Now my concern is that it's gonna run a little too warm, as I have found a lot of uh, drugstore pencils tend to do, but I like that it's easily, it's a twist up, so I don't have to deal with sharpening it. I think it will do. I did swatch it on the back of my hand, and it is a little warm, but that's okay. I think if you're a redhead, you would really like this. But for the purposes of this video, it's fine. It's very creamy. It transfers very easily. Yeah, it's a little warmer than I'd like, but whatever, it's fine. Um, now for a brow gel that I do like, and I didn't get a chance to see if they make a brow pencil. Um, they probably do, but this is from Essence. I like a lot of Essence stuff. Uh, this is nice. Here's where it's getting exciting. So I went to Walmart and I went to the gift section in the Christmas section where they have sort of the prepackaged little things under, I think they're dollar, five dollar, ten dollar, and so on. So in the five dollar and under section, they had um, a little hard candy package. It had two eyeshadow palettes, one like this, and then there was a like a gray and silver one, and a little package of really terrible brushes, all for four ninety nine. So this is the one palette that I thought was that I took out of there that I want to use. I think the colors are really pretty. I haven't even swatched them. The only thing it didn't have that I really wanted was it didn't have a matte brown for the crease. So I grabbed this one from L'Oreal that I already have. And then it didn't have a matte, uh, like a skin tone shade, a bone shade, if you will. So I grabbed this one also from L'Oreal. I'm gonna wipe off my Wet n Wild fluffy brush. It's getting a lot of use. And just to make sure everything blends nicely, I'm gonna take this bone shade and I'm going to put it all over the lid very lightly just to make sure all the other shadows blend okay over it. So I'm going to go with a light color on the lid. I'm going to go with this one right here. I have an e.l.f. brush. It's taking me back to the early days of my YouTube channel. And it's just a flat brush. And I'm going to put that all over the lid. I don't remember if I said these are, these shadows are from Hard Candy. And generally, Hard Candy makes good stuff, but maybe not palette, two palettes and a set of brushes for $4.99. I might have been uh, holding out a little too much hope there. All right, now I'm going to go back to my L'Oreal Single Shadow. I'm going to go in with Blending Eye Brush. I guess they changed the name. And I'm going to go in with that L'Oreal shade and just up to the socket here, very light-handed, because this is not much of the way of a blending brush. It's more like a big pencil brush. And kind of draw in a socket, like there. Yeah, you want something a lot fluffier and I'm just not getting it. All right, I do have another kind of flat eyeshadow brush and I'm just turning it sideways and going back and forth over that crease shade, kind of hoping to blend it out a little bit. <laughs> it's tricky. I think I know that it's not necessarily the quality of the shadows that's important, it's the quality of the brushes. That doesn't mean they have to be expensive, they just have to be the right shape and density to do the job. Let's do an outer V and see if we can fix things up a little bit. I have an angled brush, also from e.l.f. I'm gonna go in with this top shade here. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the angled brush that is not fluffy at all either. These are packed very tightly. And I'm gonna kinda draw on the V, and then we'll cheat with the blending and use the other brush to kinda help us along. I'm also gonna pull it up. Oh boy, that looks really dark, doesn't it? I'm gonna also pull it up onto the crease a little bit. And I'm just kind of trying to blend this out a little bit. I'm taking that same um, flat brush and I'm running this kind of shimmery color in the corner underneath the eye. An e.l.f. crease brush, which is really similar to what I just used, but even tinier. And I'm using the lightest shade in the palette and I'm putting that in the corner of my eye to 
to add a little brightness there. And then just to um, kind of blend out a little more, taking this lightest shade from L'Oreal, going back over the brow bone, kind of helping blend out the edges here a little bit as well. Now for liner, again, this is an old favorite from Rimmel. This is the Scandalized Waterproof Coal Kajal, and I believe the shade is just brown. I'm not gonna do anything fancy, just run it along the water, the water line, run it along the lash line. I got my really cheap eyelash curlers at the grocery store. Wow, it's like, what even just happened? There's, it doesn't even compress. But there's, that was, just, you might as well just skip this step. I could just go like this and do better. I'm just gonna do this. Okay, here's a little trick. Get your eyelashes and just push down. Seriously, there, that was just a total, that was ridiculous. Now, this is actually gonna be in my December favorites. This is from Essence. It's the Lash Princess Volume Mascara. It's great, I love it. I've been using it nonstop since I got it. It's lovely. Whether it's $3 or 38, I highly recommend it. All right, we have to keep all of this beautifulness staying in place. So another old favorite is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Fixing Setting Spray. Sorry, I should read the English side and not the French side. And the only thing I don't love about this, let me get it started, not the finest of mists. Oh my God, face full of spray. Ugh, that, that's a wake up call. Woo! So airy fairy. It smells like cake. So there is the finished look. Excuse the hair, I've been running around in the rain chasing a puppy, but everything on my face, including the brushes I used was $5 or less. Actually more accurately, $4.99 or less, not including tax. Again, thank you so much Tati for tagging me. I am so flattered. And I'm going to go ahead and extend this tag to Pretty much all of you but I did name a few people specifically so please do check the description box and see if you've been tagged thank you so much if any of you have any tags that you want to see me do please let me know in the comments don't forget I am doing vlog -a days those are videos that are going up every evening usually and I am still obviously doing my regular content as well so those will go up at six o'clock in the morning um, usually Tuesdays and Fridays during the month of December thank you so much for hanging out with me for another video and I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching bye bye